G'day everyone and thanks so much for joining me for this quick lesson where I'm going to introduce some tips and tricks for staying connected. So let's go ahead and jump in and I want to do so by starting off with a quick introduction to Octo, the cloud octopus. Now you may have already seen Octo joining me throughout my content providing a range of tips and tricks to help you on your learning journey. And there's one important tip that Octo wants to share today and that is networking does matter. And we are not just talking about the computer type of networking here, we're talking about the human kind of networking. Networking is a really important skill to make sure that you are staying connected to all of the different things that are happening in the technology world. You'll be able to stay up to date with all of the latest and greatest news. And really importantly, you'll be able to stay connected to a range of different opportunities that can help you in your career. Certainly, if I think back to my own personal career and for many of my friends and colleagues as well, I know that it is through networking that they've been able to get access to different opportunities. Now, networking alone isn't necessarily going to get you your next job by itself, but it can certainly help to get you through that front door. So within this lesson, I wanted to share a couple of different ways that you can stay connected to myself and to others as well. First things first, if you'd like to stay connected with me, and yes, that's me on the right hand side there, there are a number of different ways that you can do so. I am available on LinkedIn, and yes, I definitely encourage you to connect with me, to follow if you'd like to learn more about all of the different content that I'm creating. Also, if you have any technical questions or if you're seeking some career advice, I love talking to students, so feel free to reach out to me. Some other ways that you can contact me, well, I am available on Twitter at James D. P. Lee, and you can also email me via James plus connect at cloudly.io. Now, we'll just mention that email is one of the slower and less interactive forms of communication, so definitely feel welcome to reach out to me via the other options as well. And if you'd like to get access to the free content that I'm regularly creating, such as projects and a range of fundamental content, then be sure to subscribe to my Cloudly IO channel and make sure that you hit the bell so you can be notified as soon as that content drops. Now, those are just the ways that you can reach out and connect to me. But what I also want to introduce you to is Tech Study Slack. Tech Study Slack is a fantastic community full of a range of different people such as yourself. There's a variety of different people there who are on different stages of their technical journey. We've got students, people who are just getting started, or experts who have been in the industry for a very long time. And you can also find several other independent content creators like myself. Now in Tech Study Slack, you're going to find lots of different channels available that can help you out. There's channels for jobs and exam advice, discussions around containers, Azure, AWS, and many more other technical and technical related contents as well. So if you'd like to join a really large and continually growing technical community, then be sure to jump over to https colon slash slash techstudyslack.com to sign up for an invite. Once you've got that invite, you'll be able to join Tech Study Slack and jump into whichever of the channels suits your goals. So everybody, those are just a few tips and tricks for connecting and staying in touch with different opportunities and different ways to grow in your career. And as a quick reminder, please do feel free to reach out to me anytime if there's anything I can help with. So thanks for joining me in this lesson, folks. I hope to see you soon and some upcoming content.